And what's up, you guys? It's your boy, SF Bay Sports Talk, and the San Francisco 49ers have re-signed wide receiver Kendrick Bourne to a one-year $3.25 million deal. Now, as a 49ers fan, I'm extremely excited about this signing. Kendrick Bourne had one of his best seasons in 2019, and although he didn't start any games, when given the opportunity to play, he did put up some decent numbers as he had 30 catches for 358 yards and five touchdowns. And he's still very young at 24 years old. But most important, Kendrick Bourne was one of Jimmy G's best targets in the red zone. And Kendrick Bourne always came up clutch. When the 49ers needed a first down, they would go to Kendrick Bourne as 23 of his 30 catches came for first downs and you're looking at this 49ers wide receiver core of course we got talented rookie from a year ago Debo Samuel he had the best season out of any 49ers wide receiver as he had 57 catches in his rookie season to go with 802 receiving yards and I'm expecting Debo Samuel is going to have an amazing sophomore season and him and Kendrick Bourne were building some really good chemistry working together and so we all know of course the 49ers you know it hurt a lot of course we lost Emmanuel Sanders in free agency and you know that is going to be tough trying to replace the production from Sanders and of course what I'm thinking the 49ers are going to do we do have the 13th pick in the NFL draft and I am thinking we are going to get a top wide receiver I really want the Niners to get Jerry Jowdy I think he is one of the most explosive route runners that we can get and I think he would just completely open up the field for Jimmy G and with all the talent that we got man that would be extremely scary for defenses to contain that so I hope he falls to us but if he doesn't the 49ers still could possibly get wide receiver C. Day Lamb or also Henry Riggs he is another very talented player so whoever the best is available that is who we are Kendrick Bourne also has been working out very hard this offseason so he is definitely gearing up for a spectacular season and you look at last year he was the third leading receiver on the 49ers of course rookie Debo Samuel was number one and then of course George Kittle he was the second leading receiver and then incoming third was Kendrick Bourne so yes this 49ers wide receiver core there is a lot of talent still to be discovered among the many young players of course we do have a couple wide receivers Coming back from injury in 2020, you got Trent Taylor and you also Jalen Hurd, who was, of course, the third round pick from a year ago. We didn't get a chance to see Jalen Hurd last season as he was hurt in training camp, but should be a lot of fun to see if these two guys can put together some amazing stats, have a great training camp and get some playing time because, I mean, they would be huge contributions to this wide receiver core. And then also we got veteran Marquise Goodwin coming back. So we'll see what he can do. And we also signed a veteran uh, wide receiver, Travis Benjamin. We'll see what he can do in training camp. So there is still a lot to be sorted out. Who is going to step up on this wide receiver core? You can argue we only have one definitive wide receiver that we can basically trust entirely. And that is Debo Samuel. And he is, of course, going in his second season. So, yeah, there is a lot of young talent. And, man, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm extremely excited to see how this is going to And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you made it all the way through to the end of this video, then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash that bell button if you have not done so already. If you would like to be notified when brand new San Francisco 49ers breaking news, we'll be covering all of it for you guys right here. And so let me know down in that comment section, 49ers fans, would love to get your thoughts on the re-signing of Kendrick Bourne. I'm extremely ecstatic about this move. I'm really loving how this young group is looking. We got a lot of potential, a lot of talent, and I think we are going to go in that draft at number 13 get the top wide receiver that we need it's going to be a lot of fun would love to get your guys thoughts and perspectives 
Who do you think will step up? Who do you think uh, is, you know, your surprise pick to perform? Love to get your guys' insights and perspectives. And as always, until next time, I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.